Well, 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 I am back at it again. I am out for what might be just short overnight. Uh, possibly two nighted, who knows? Depends on a couple of things. Um, I'm in Norway. But this time I'm not going for the Norwegian tranquility experience. I'm going for something a bit more industrial. I'm going to fish more or less inside a town, near an industrial complex in what is actually brackish water, which is very special. We can take a look around. Over here we have some sort of, uh, I don't know if you can see it, some sort of plant, <laughs> some sort of factory that makes who knows what. Uh, but I bet you it's toxin. Yeah. Um, I'm in some sort of landfill. <laughs> And I am going to fish down this way. Uh, this water here, I've been told, is uh, something extraordinary. It might hold some uh, surprises. Uh, just turn around here, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's get started packing out and let's get fishing. It's getting late and I'm hungry. So uh, I finally got set up um, and I'm fishing. Took a little while though, um, getting my bearings and finding some good spots. I burnt myself on one spot, it was quite shallow but I thought hey, the carp might be there. But it uh, appears it was a duck hot spot so it took, took them around 10 minutes then they cleared my spot and hook, hooked themselves. But luckily he got away though. You don't want to fight a duck in these surroundings here, you know. <laughs> uh, one thing about Norway though, if you don't got a boat, <laughs> you don't go fishing. Everything is boat, 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 boat. Want to fish in a good spot, you bring the boat. Want to land the fish, you bring the boat. Want to take a photo, you bring the boat. Boat, boat, boat. <laughs> so sometimes I do miss uh, my, um, my cast fishing though. So. But it's alright. I'm set up along this reed line here. I got one one rod close in and then I got one down at the end here, the very end uh, there. And then I got one about 10 meters or so outside there. It's about one, one and a half meters depth there. And I have heard from what I've heard the rumors uh, that spot is catching so and it looks promising. In the middle part though it's kind of shallows out and goes up to around one, two foot. Uh, so it might be a good uh, night spot but uh, on the day it's impossible because of the, the bird life here. Also I got a gambling rod to my other side here. Just on the reed line down there. Uh, it's about like, almost two meters. Uh, it also looks quite good. Uh, so. I'm quite excited and curious to see what the night brings. Uh, other than that, I only I can only say wow. It's a special place. <laughs> it really is quite urban. Uh, got the boats passing here, going out into the fjord. Uh, so get some waves now and then. Um, one thing that worries me though, there was this big sweaty guy came down here, <laughs> asked. So, you're sleeping here all alone? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm alone, but I'm not sure about the sleeping though. <laughs> so, now I just need to get some food because I haven't ate in eight hours or so, so I'm starved. But just sit down, eat, enjoy the view. And catch a carp. Uh, just. Uh, Just uh, one thing that I would like to show you, because now I'm going to eat. Um, let me just turn around here. 
This is my old trusty rich monkey and today is experimentation day on a budget, mind you. So here I have some sausage which have been cut up, pre-cut up from home of course and frozen so it will last a few days. Um, in amongst that I have some green pesto to give it some, some juice. Maybe later on I'll add some ketchup as well. So the plan is to roast this, then put it inside a sandwich, along with some cheese, of course. And hopefully that will make me happy, <laughs> very, very happy. So let's see. Mm. I have added some cheese and it's about to be done, I think. So let's have a look. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah. Okay, so there you have it, the final result, two slices of bread with grilled sausage and pesto mixed in with melted cheese. Mm. Now the decision is, should I mix it with ketchup or should I don't? Try one with and one without. Uh, just uh, midnight, just a bit more than midnight, and uh, half an hour ago I uh, had a take, but uh, I did feel the fish for a few seconds and then he uh, parted with my hook and that was more or less it. But it has improved my confidence with the swim, however I am beginning to think that this session here might be uh, a learning session for me. Uh, there's a lot to know about this water, of course, what I didn't uh, take into consideration is that it is a tidal pool, so the water level has dropped a good 40-50 centimeters, that definitely has something to say, both feeding wise for the fish, but also uh, how to position or where to position my, my baits, so um, I will take that into account for uh, another time. For now I am really tired and I am going to get some sleep and hopefully soon I will be wakened by a scream take. That would be very nice but until then I'll get some sleep and uh, just enjoy the view of this perfect urban Norwegian city. Good morning. <sighs> Bad news, I slept perfectly all night. Not anything, not a single bleep. Yeah, maybe there were two bleeps, a bird hit the line, but nothing to report. It's uh, 8 o'clock, so there still is a chance. Um, uh, sadly, though, it looks like I have to pack it in now, so it will just be that one night midweek pass but can't win them all can you but uh, the rods are still out there so there's still a chance I am truly sorry for the wind I forgot
got the windscreen, but right at last knockings, I managed to back one. 6.6 kilos, it's good for Norway. It's about 14 pounds, I reckon. Nice old cannoli brackish common. Angry as they come. He took a snowman style, really. Fished about 10 meters from the reed line in about 2 meters of water. And it absolutely just melted off. I'm so, so happy with this fish. I've really been wanting to catch one from this venue for a long time. And to catch one as beautiful as this one, couldn't be more happy. It's that time. Um, I am going to have to pack up and get going. I cannot dodge work tomorrow, unfortunately. I would love to stay here um, for one more night. I learned a lot about this venue now, so uh, I have some pretty good ideas on how to tackle it some other time, but uh, that's going to be a whole different video. So um, if there are any more carp that would like to play ball, now is the time. Because we only have maybe half an hour and then the rods start going in. But it looks like it's about time because it looks like the ducks just found my, um, my secret spot. Look at them. I have this rod just in close. Uh, looks quite promising in there actually, but uh, not anymore. <laughs> At least I had a good 16 hours eh, before they found it. So, yeah, let's get packed.